Good morning. Good morning. Oh yeah. I was trying to do that for you. You've got to be real. Good morning to you. Welcome to the 40 Booth Homes Market set up. <laughs> yeah, just slightly different. This is the normal place where we set up, isn't it? And here these. And smell animals. Oh. It's, it's a beautiful day. It's a regular reckon it's gonna rain, but it's not, it's lovely. It's nice and sunny. I think you should get unpacking, you haven't got long. Well, with the cheapest reapers, a bit of lamb, a bit of lamb and the cheapest reapers, or maybe the barbecue, a bit of lamb and the barbecue sauce. Mm. There's one, we could just still. How'd you get them creepers? So like is, is, is this is this strong? It's, it's hot. No. Strawberry. I would I would yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh Here it goes. Here it goes. Creepers, creepers. Oh wow, I've got a kick to it. <laughs> That's really good. Oh that is some spicy. Oh wow. But that is so nice though. Fruity and spicy at the same time. It's like strawberry. It's like strawberry flavour. Oh, so strawberry good. flavour and then the hottest chilli in the world. I know. Really? And I don't even like chilli. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
ready. And then you've got a proper dip. I'm not do doing a really big proper dip. Are you going for it? Boy, here he Dad. goes. What? The hottest one. You're crazy, kid. <laughs> How do you feel? Bad. <laughs> Is it good? That's going on a front page of the vlog that time. Hello everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, good day, good morning, depends what time you're watching this. Uh, I'm Dean from Dean of the Dead, and I'm watching Antiques Roadshow. Love a bit of Antiques Roadshow. Just a quick recap on the Food Gatherer event that we did the other day, the Dean of the Dead's Hot Sauce. Um, we had a great day. It was beautiful. It was really sunny. It was completely different to anything we've done so far because we've only really done a couple of conventions and we, this is, it's a new company. So you know, we haven't actually really, really done a lot, but we kind of jumped straight into the convention scene um, and haven't done any foodie events yet, which is weird considering we're completely food based. Um, we're, I'm based in Enfield. The company's based in Enfield. Uh, the event is in Enfield. It's at Forty Hall, a place I used to go when I was a kid. Well, as an adult, I was a kid, a place I've known, grown up, and sort of, you know, gone. And I said, so it was nice to to take what we're doing with the business over there as well, and kind of meet everybody else in the local area. Who and there's so many, it was so packed with so many people that came out, and the weather was great. We couldn't have asked for more with the weather. Um, it was scheduled to rain, but it didn't. We woke up, it was beautiful sunshine. It was like being abroad. Um, when we got there and we were packing up, it was literally like being on holiday. It was lovely. It was so nice and it was such a beautiful setting. If you've ever been, if you know the place, um, you know what I'm talking about. If if not, um, and you're ever in, in Enfield, for whatever reason, go and check it out. Forty Hall, there's a beautiful, there's a big stately home there. Um, I think Pink Floyd actually filmed a video there once. The band Pink Floyd, they filmed, um, I think it was the final cut. They did something, I could be wrong. So any Floyd fans out there are probably going, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, final cut, I think it was, they did, they reenacted a scene, I think it had like, um, dictators or royals or something like that, and I can't quite remember, but that was in the house that was there. There's a big barn there where they hold regular live music events, something called Livestock, which is, which is great. So they're doing so much for the local community there, and it's, um, a big shout out to Emma and Kim for having us along. Um, we got introduced away back and they said about coming along and, and seeing how we went down. Uh, and yeah, people loved it again. People came out and people were coming along and they were trying the stuff. We got to meet a lot of new people, a lot of new locals, which is great because, um, where do you, other than, you know, not everyone is a pubby like me. Not everyone likes going to the pub. So that's normally, normally where you meet new people when you go out and sit and, and, and have a booze up all day. Um, so it's nice to meet people that I don't meet when I'm in the pub. <laughs> normal people doing normal things. You can check them out, uh, at Food Gatherer on Instagram. Um, they do it every second Sunday of the month. Um, it's completely free entry. It's, there's all, uh, there's, there's all kinds of foodies there, all kinds of local produce. There is a Comic Con coming up on the, the, the 14th of, Ju of July, which is the second Sunday of that particular month. So I'm, I'm deciding whether to, which one to do. I think I might go with the con, not sure yet, just because, just to you know, keep everything new all the time. But obviously, I want to do the food gatherer as a, as a regular, regular thing. So if we don't do this one in July, then we will be doing every other one after that. So every second Sunday of the month, food gatherer, Forty Hall, Enfield. Um, check it out, and I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Um, it's only a short one um, because there wasn't any cosplayers, but there was some sheep. In the immortal words of Sean Sandbrook and my beloved Sean Sandbrook roll those credits baby I did that bit and he doesn't say that baby I did that bit